This is a DD13 engine. Just wanted to go over some of the maintenance items to check before you take off on your morning walk around. Coolant is a visual check, it's up here. Power steering is a visual check, it's here. If you have the DAPCO 42, which you do, this will be a visual check as well. When the, when the level of fuel inside this filter gets up to this level, it's time to change the filter. Also, oil check and oil fill. Over here, we have the DEF tank. The DEF tank is a plastic tank because it's corrosive. It is not flammable. It is not dangerous of any kind. Obviously, don't drink it, but if you get some on your hands, just wash your hands. It's not a big deal. This needs to be filled up probably every 1,800 miles or so. There's a gauge inside the dash, and we'll show you that later when we do the interior. Thanks. We are looking at the smart shift control located on the right side of the steering column for the Cascadia. The smart shift allows for fully automated shifts that can be overridden when required for total driver control. The smart shift offers two modes, manual and automatic. In automatic, the fully automated control shifts on its own or drivers can override to manually select gears within the engine acceptable rev range. In manual mode, manual selection is as easy as flicking the lever up for an upshift or down for a downshift. Up for an upshift, down for a downshift. To demonstrate, we'll flick it over into automatic, apply our foot to the brake, and shift the transmission into drive, and then on the right side of the dash, we're able to see what gear is selected through the gauge. As we then accelerate, we can watch as the transmission goes through the gears. When shutting off the engine, we simply need to go back and shift the transmission into neutral, apply our brakes, and operation of the smart shift is simply that easy. If we were in manual mode, which is uh, nice to use if you need to control your speed or if you're operating in park, a parking lot, we simply shift it into drive, and this will allow us to make the shifts. We upshift by flicking the lever up, and downshift by flicking the lever down, and smart shift control allows for an easy driver experience. Finally, if we select the low gear function, the transmission will stay in low gear and will not change. First thing getting in the Cascadia, check to see if the master kill switch is in the on position. It, it could be off if the truck is parked for any length of time. It's very important you do that. So make sure that's on. You can see the little red LED lights up. Make sure the key's not on and the uh, headlights are not on. When you do that, you can burn out a headlight because of a power surge. So make sure everything is off in the truck before you turn on the master switch. This is the ignition key, pretty self-explanatory. It's ignition start. Here you have the uh, headlight switch, parking lights, headlights. You have fog lights, you pull it out. On this case, this is your wiper switch, variable speed, very much like your car. Also acts as a, as a dimmer switch. Push it in, it is window wash. So if you need to wash the windshield, it's very simple. Just push on that stock alongside the steering wheel. This is our dash cluster. As you can see in the top left, you have oil pressure, you have water temperature, tack, speedometer, air pressure primary, air pressure secondary. You also have your fuel gauge. Now, as I talked before in the video, when it comes to DEF, 
there's a gauge in here now we see the green bar within the uh, the, the gauge for fuel we have green yellow and red we have four bars of green which means full each bar not lit means that much less fuel so you have four quarters of fuel you get down to you see now we have half a tank of def when that gets down to the first bar and you haven't filled up a def it'll turn yellow which gives you a warning then it'll turn to red red will derate the truck make sure you do not run the truck down into red over here we have brighter dimmer gauge lights you have your four ways footwell lights this is important this is your regen switch when it does ask you for a regeneration that's the switch you use to ignite or set off the regen i'm sure you're familiar with what the regens are um, engine override and a shutdown you get a mirror heat it should light up for you when it's on off when it's off your jake brake you have three settings on the dd13 high low medium dome light utility light self-explanatory parking brake trailer brake tractor brake havoc controls push that for recirculation you have your fan speeds temperature controls to turn the air on that button turns the air conditioning on and off so you can run with vent or with air conditioning and obviously wherever you want the air to go this is the gauge you switch over here we have differential lock so if you do have a diff lock your inner axle diff that's how you turn on turning it off over here we have a trailer handbrake obviously self-explanatory and that's Cascadia so here we are with the Cascadia the steering wheel controls are as follows on off cruise control accelerate resume uh, decline or set so you want to slow down speed up if you just want to clear out of it you push that button to the middle on the, the horn and on this side we have Jake brake lower level Jake higher level Jake as on the dash switch we have three levels of Jake here's your marker interrupt switch so you want to let that guy know it's okay to come in your lane hold that button down very simple never have to take your hands off the wheel finally on the Cascadia on this dash we have some different settings this is your mileage your voltage there's a button off here to the right push that button takes you through different modes of the gauge there you have a trip you have trip hours now if you wanted to start over your trip hours you take this button to the right simply hold it down zeroes out then you get to start over again uh, it tells you it's 84 degrees outside uh, these other ones are for uh, the text to use and engine hours it's right there those engine miles and there we go